Canabine Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Paul Canabine, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. Coach, let's take it back to that Nazareth game that you guys were able to host on Wednesday. Pretty even with face-offs, almost dead even with face-offs, yep. and able to win the ball back to have that explosive offensive showing. That you yeah, had. I thought we did a good job You know, in that game. We played really well as a team overall and put a lot of pressure on them. I thought we shot the ball incredibly well early, and that really helped us get, uh, get out on them. And I think Ross played really well stopping their shots. But facing off, he's one of the better kids in the country at 73% as a junior. And, and Justin, our freshman, after losing a, a few, did a great job coming back. And you know, I think he won uh, half of the face-offs he took against the kids, so that's really good, and against one of the better kids in the country but Justin is one of the better kids in the country and he's really done a great job all year facing off but our defense led by Dom and and Dylan Harris you know they did a great job putting pressure on Naz all day and we were able to get the ball up and up and go and they got a very talented attack they really share the ball and do a good job of that so how we played was great you guys traveled up to RIT on Saturday you guys had played them to open up the season yep. this year two different teams on both sides of the ball there uh, just talk a little bit about that performance. Well, you know, we just started out a little bit slow. You know, they hit, <coughs> excuse me, hit us in the face a little bit there early. The and uh, you know, eight three first quarter. After that, I think we really settled down and did a great job. We adjusted how we were playing them, and uh, Ross played really well the, uh, going the rest of the way. You know, we just didn't quite make the plays we needed. They're just a little bit tougher than us. And I thought when he had good shots, their goalie played very well and made the shots they needed, uh, made the saves to say they needed. Uh, they needed, and they really did a great job clearing the ball. And in their ten man, we made some really poor choices to give them some easy layups, unfortunately. And that's what. Happened happens you know you miss a layup on one end you know you get a layup on the other end and that's usually what happens in the game but you know tip my hat to RIT they were the tougher team they played well and they're really playing a great brand of lacrosse all their seniors you know they, they play so many of them their seniors really played very very well we talk about our seniors a little bit you graduate a whole bunch of them but they're going to do well in their careers as they move away from. Yeah, season. absolutely. You no, know, Kyle Donofrio had one of the better careers here. You know, he should be a first or second team All American. He did a tremendous, tremendous job all year. You know, our midi D's are you know Jake and Parrish did a great job all year, and uh, you know you know and Wade and you know he did a great job in the, uh, up front as a senior doing a, a good job there. So you know we had some really good seniors did some really great things. And Ross in the net obviously had a great you know great end of the year, which is really great for him. He held us in a lot of games and being a real steady there to help us out. So, but we'll miss a few guys, but you know. We got a lot of good guys coming back, and you know we're a pretty young team, and a lot of our freshmen coming up are going to be real contributors next year. And some the new freshman class coming in, and some transfers we got, we should be all right. It's nice to return the defensive player of the year as well. Yeah, and Dom had a great year. You know he'll definitely be a first team, uh, first, second, third team All American. He had a great year. You know he guarded the ball. He was a great. Most of all, what Dom did well, he was a great leader for us, and that really showed what he did uh, off the field for our guys. And that's what I mean, we feel real confident coming back defensively next year. That we'll be, we should be a great defensive team. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time every week coming up and talking to us in postgame and pregame, well, and it's been a pleasure. It's our pleasure, Joe. Thanks a lot for your help. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Paul Canabine Show.